welcome to death. I'll be restored. I'll be restored. No more bunkers. No more bunkers. No more bunkers. No more bunkers. All right, y'all, so back at it again. So this, again, is just for fun and giggles and all the things. So this is me reacting to, um, there is a song that Kiara and Angel made up when Kiara, back when Kiara had bronchitis. And I think Kiara does have bronchitis or flares up from time to time. But but when that baby had bronchitis and she sang, I don't know if it was at her concert or at the Walls Group concert, and she sung Indescribable with bronchitis, that was ridiculous. I hope you all are praying for me. I got uh, bronchitis, so I'm sick. How you gonna be cute if you got asthma? How you gonna take out the inhaler? That's so an A, B, I'm getting out of the way, so I haven't seen me out. And it's just like she she literally gave us that uh you know, like that church people stuff when the singers be doing that. I can't sing, you know, I'm sick or I'm under the weather. And I can't and they, they like smack you down, like whoosh. they like smack you down and you're like, I thought you couldn't sing. Thought you couldn't sing, ma'am. Thought you couldn't sing, sir. What was that? And then they go off the stage and they exit all gracefully and go back and sit in a seat or whatever until they call back up. But, you know, but it's really funny. But she made a song about I got bronchitis and it's hilarious because they were all in the car going somewhere and I loved it. It was so catchy. And then like she started acting and then even just Angel going in and then they got Twinkie to join in too, which is hilarious. But let's play. I got broken. I got broken. I will be able to breathe. I got broken in a couple days. I got broken after the end. I got broken. I got broken in a couple days. I got broken. I will be breathing. I got broken. Inhale. I got broken. Exhale. I got broken. 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 I got broke out. I got broke 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 But in a couple days, I got broke out. It's like Jesus. I got broke out. In three days, I got broke out. Prescription, y'all. Come on now. It's almost over. I got broke out. In about three days, I got broke out. We will resurrect. Come on now. I got broke out. I got bronchitis. 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 Oh man, she don't even smoke. I don't think I don't think she smokes because it'll be evident in her voice. But she don't even smoke. But <laughs> just the fact that <laughs> But in a couple days, <laughs> I'll be with Snoop. <laughs> Jesus, and I feel like that was like 2017 when she had her little swoop situation and all the things. Oh my goodness, I, that that's one of the ways that made me fall in love with Kiki too. Her transparency, the humor, the personality. And Kiki actually taught me that it's okay to laugh at yourself. <laughs> there you go. But it's funny, like, you know, Kiki was the one that taught me to like to be able to laugh at yourself and not take yourself so seriously. She just is Kiki. 
the range and her voice is improved it's cool it's really cool um i think for her i think for the clark sisters and i think for a lot of like young talent that you see like in the spotlight or just in pub in the public eye maybe i'll say it that way who kind of grow up and you see the ones that become vocal monsters like jill scott be saying can you hear the background vocalists out there can you turn the background vocalists up in the house because they're monsters vocal monsters and like how jasmine sullivan we see like early clips like her singing on apollo or singing at um singing home at 11 years old and like the vocal monstrosity that she's become at her age now and we see like you know how the clark sisters just became ridiculous as they aged you know and we have like earlier clips of how they used to be and how they've evolved individually as women all the things and vocally as well and even what they were doing when they were younger and how it kind of evolved and changed and even the same thing with kiara and like how she's really coming into her own her own prime and like her voice her beauty her um example her character and all the things that she's doing it's really 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 cool really 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 cool but that was the i got bronchitis song i don't got bronchitis i don't even speak that over my life because you know how many people know like same will try you i break agreement with that with me just saying that i will not get bronchitis in the name of jesus <laughs> oh people might be laughing at me and people might be like you might be too deep but listen you gotta be careful the scripture says in proverbs 18:22. The life, life and death are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. So I'm trying to be more mindful of what I'm saying, so I don't, I'm not ingesting, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not ingesting the the fruit of my words. But I remember like Pastor Brian Bullock said it like this at Union Church. When that scripture says death and life are in the power of the tongue, if you go back to its original language, what it actually is saying is death and life. That word power is actually a picture of a hand. So it's like death and life is in the hand of the tongue. Why I say the hand of the tongue? It was to show you that when you speak, you create. Your tongue is like a hand. And what you speak, it starts to create. You ever had a mother that used to tell you, be careful what you put on your plate because you're going to have to eat it? And then you put all this stuff on your plate and in two seconds in you realize, I put too much on my plate. But your mother said, nope, if you put it on your plate, you got to eat it. That scripture says death and life is in the power of your tongue and those that love it will eat its fruit. Many of you don't like the way your life tastes, not realizing you cooked it. <laughs> are eating what you made and if it don't taste good because you brought bad ingredients up in here it's like you're upset by what you're eating when you're the one that made it you can't be but so mad right because you're eating what you released or what you prepared and what you prepare with your lips and with your actions and the more you say something the more you start to believe it and the more you believe it the more it starts to manifest in your actions your behaviors and even in your neural network and your brain and all the things but that's why I, I went on that tangent but anyways thanks for watching love you guys don't get better because life does get better that's one of my favorite Kiera impromptu songs it's just like hilarious and they just make random songs but again just for fun you know it don't always have to be deep it don't even always have to be personally requested but sometimes it's just like sharing my personal videos not personal videos but fan favorite videos of mine with you guys too so that's another thing too but yeah but Kiera though Kiara though, though. Kiara though. She be out here. She be out here just singing down. And if you have not watched, she did a recent performance of I'm Here covered from the Color Purple Play situation with Michael Corte. I'm gonna put the link in the link in the description. I wanna say bio, but it's like this is not <laughs> this is not Instagram or Facebook or none of that. She really sang good. She really sang good.